well, first things first, middle of the drum is money. Like you kind of answered your own question already a little bit. Uh, same goes for toms as well. You, like you're gonna get the most balanced tone if you hit it in the middle. Some guys, to, like conversely, some guys, like Chad Sexton is a great example, um, his signature sound he gets by not hitting the snare drum in the middle. Like he hits it um, way, I don't know if you guys can go to the overhead. You but, totally can but get that sound and it's totally legit. If you want it creatively, like you can go from the center of the snare drum off to the side and you're going to get way more ring, um, less kind of low mid, so it's going to have less punch, but it's going to be way more ringy. And he wants that sound, so he uses that creatively. But I'd say in most circumstances, 90% of circumstances, you just want to get like a nice, well-balanced, consistent tone, which would mean hitting the drums in the, or hitting the head as close to the middle as you can, as consistently as you can. Uh, I don't think this should really be a cerebral exercise. You shouldn't really be thinking about it explicitly while you're playing middle, 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 middle. But I think just while you're practicing, concentrate on hitting the drums in the middle as much as you can, and it'll just come with time. That consistency comes with time. With regards to this, the uh, snare, this, this depends on the producer that you're working with. I love rim shots, man. Like I'm a big fan of rim shots. Um, they just, I feel like a snare drum sounds best when you're playing a rim shot, even if you're playing it really softly. It doesn't, it's, for me, it's not a matter of volume as much as it's a matter of tone. I just love that attack. It almost sounds compressed. When, yeah. you, play, when you play a rim shot, it just adds way more attack to it. So um, for me, it's, it's generally keeping the middle of, uh, or keeping the tip of the stick as close to the middle of the drum as possible, and then just hitting the rim along with the head. I mean, we all know what a rim shot sounds like. Hammer away on the click for as many hours as you can so you can get your timing down as, as good as possible. Yeah. Um, just remember, everything you do when you're under microphones is magnified. Like, every little mistake, every little imperfection, you're going to hear, especially yeah. if you haven't recorded yourself before. So what I would recommend is play less.